I just premiered last week's Lego Journey video, and I guess it's time for a new week, and I've got something in mind that I think would be fun to get into. Welcome to the storage room of Doom. There was a set that I got recently that I thought would be fun to build as a family. We have the rest of the day today, and then Sunday and Monday home together, and I thought it'd be fun to get into the, as I bring in the light, the Disney Villains set. This is a really cool build where you get lots of different things in here and there's all these little details that really set this off. So I thought we would jump into this and at least unbox it and get it started a little bit today. Oh. <laughs> Put your sick thing in there, dude. Oh, I... <laughs> we'll get the evil Clark in there. This is my mini fig. You could totally be a villain, I feel like. This set, this set will work for you. <laughs> yeah, that kind of, I see yeah. resem resemblance there. Right. That's me right there. Uh, no one tough that, like Gaston. That's mom. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. She's gonna beat you, boy. All right, let's unbox ah. this, baby. You wanna give me a little bit of space to work here? Go on, chair. Oh, no, he's coming with... You know he means business when he comes through with the chair. Get the room! Move your boy! Jeez Louise. <laughs> Trying to build with your kid. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Slice of dice, dice. All right, you ready for this? Oh boy. Set, this should keep us busy for a bit. I got the. Uh, I got bag three. They got it inside the cardboard sleeve again. You love to see it. No folding manuals. You looking for the apple bags? Yep, I got. It. I think you got them. I got two and three. <laughs> Let me see what we got here. Booga booga. Oh no. No. It's just one big manual, so we're gonna have to iPad it up. That's kind of a bummer. <laughs> Clark and I will be on iPad. Mom will have to be on... Booklet. Booklet, yeah. This is going to look fantastic on shelf. We actually have a few Lego items infiltrating the office, which is nice to see. But uh, you get the Book of Sleeping Beauty with the card. You get the clock. You get the Apple, the VHS. I've been kind of partial to all things Lego Disney, so this one this one got me. My last Lego Disney set I built was this one right here. Those 100 sets. I got my hopes up, and then I looked inside here, and then I found these. Aww. Boo. That's okay. Mine has no stickers, though. Yeah, I think you're okay. Let me see what I want to get into. In the manual. All right, does this booklet feature that? Yeah, yeah, one, two, and three. Ooh, I might do one. Unless you want to build one. No, but do that. Do number one because you said you wanted to build a clock. No, I thought you would like the clock. I was no. going to say that for you. No. You sure? I just finished up the clock, which is a pretty neat build, actually. It's got this piece that I've never seen in Lego before that's like this hanger, like a little hook thing. And then you can change the hands on it to be whatever time that you want. Yeah, make it like the time right now. And there's the back. Which is a lot, 113. Is that a question mark? What is that? Let me uh, see. Is that an Easter egg? No, I think it's like a little hook. It's oh, it's Wait, Captain it's Hook! Hard. Yeah, good call, buddy. I was like, huh. Yeah, this is Captain Hook's clock, That's isn't like, it? Huh. That's like, oh. Oh, and there's Peter Pan and mm -hmm. all the peeps on the front there. Okay, man, I almost didn't get the reference. That would have that would have hurt in the comments. So yeah. thanks for saving me, Clark, man. Uh, the Witch and Carbonite. Uh, Send her to Jabba the Hutt. They have some thick pieces of apples in here. Yeah, that's like some Duplo. Big pieces of of poison and apple. Wait, uh, the apple goes underneath her. Check this out. I got Jafar. Mm, he's cool. Isn't that cool? Jafar. Yeah. Is that from Aladdin? Yeah, Jafar is the bad guy in Aladdin who... Why couldn't they have, like, the, the girl or Aladdin, the guy, or whatever? It's the villain set, man. It's the villain. the same reason I know. Peter Pan's not in here. This is the villain set. Why not Captain Hook, though? He could have been in here. Get, get rid of Ursula. They already did Captain Hook as a CMF, though. So maybe that's uh, the reason. I don't know. I don't know. Lego. Take it up with Lego. Bye. It's poison apple time. With a secret inside. <laughs> ah, there's a little witch in there. Do, 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 do. I do love this though. It's like three D. I mean, like the big pieces. I like. There's no way that's gonna look right. Like, it doesn't like, see it. Like, I wish there was a little bit more blending in there. 
That's hard to do with Lego. On, on a side like that. Could have just used like small pieces and stuff. They would have had to build it in like uh, plate layers. I mean, this works. This works, but not like this. Like, the, like I I know there's really no other way, but if, Could it, stickers across there, like a sticker right there. If they had me design an apple, it would not look as good as that apple. That's for mm -hmm. darn sure. Lego designers, like, how do they do it? Like, and also this is a hot dog. <laughs> I'm done again. That was the quickest build I've ever seen. Look, it's like the. It's it's too thick for my liking. That's not how thick cards are. They're thin. They're they're paper. It's thinner than the cards that we made for Pokemon. Remember those? I mean, I mean, my mine was as thin as this. Thin like me. <laughs> 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 Clark's builds bags. Uh, oh, yeah, one, two, and three, right there. Bags two and three. One, two, three. Done. The apples. Uh, also one and two and three. Time's running out. One, two, three. Day two on the Lego Disney villains grind. Made some progress since you last saw us. Got a little bit of the Beauty and the Beast book done. Clark Man is steaming ahead. All the way to bag eight where he's going to be working on the Sleeping Beauty book. Cody is going to be finishing up the rest of this, which there's two bags of the book. And then I'm going to be going to the VHS, which is like the primary reason that I bought this set. Because I just think that is so darn cool. So there's three bags of that. And that takes us all the way to the end. It's very late. It is, what time is it? It is 7 o'clock. Wow. I just passed your section, Clark, man. It's actually 7 o'clock. Still passing your section. <laughs> Holy smokes. There we go. Bag 11. Building the VCR tape. Something never before seen. Wait, why are not... Oh, it's bag. It's, it's, it's bag. You're bag 8. Remember, I get to go with the person from Super Mario. Maleficent. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Which lady? That's fine. Oh, man. So villainous. Hmm. I mean, can't kill the beast, but so what? Spoilers. Everyone's the beast. Who hasn't? Who doesn't want to kill the beast, right? There's my bag, Clarkman's bag. And uh, uh, Clarkman's first bag in the books. Right. Here's mine. I'm doing some illegal building technique here. Look at this. Super illegal, putting that in there, but uh, apparently it's a thing. Like the pages of yeah. the book. I'm building paper. I'm building rocks, paper, scissors. <gasps> Just the paper, though. How are you, like, done with that already? Do, 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 do. My man's speed running over here. You can hide trinkets. That Pokemon game does something. Let's see how mom did. Mm. Hmm. Hey, another printed. It's a Disney 100 bookmark. Is what I'm building now. Well, I went and made breakfast and <laughs> brushed my teeth. <laughs> well, this is oh, how far are I am. I had to fix some pepper grinders. <laughs> yeah, there was that fiasco. That was something. And I need sleep, Disney sleeping and then beauty on one. Stickers? Mm -hmm. I'll be that guy. I'm building a bookmark. That's what I'm trying to do. Didn't ask. <laughs> oh my god. So rude. <laughs> This morning, you people are absolute <laughs> deuces. I'm becoming a villain myself. Actually. Oh, this goes on the side. This ain't no bookmark. That's a, that's the spine. I know. I thought it was a bookmark. Before <laughs> <laughs> she detail, you know, it doesn't show it on the box. So she, there's a secret bookmark. I'm going to the bag. Well. Oh, no. I need another sticker. It's number one. No! It's money for sure. You guys can take a look at the front. There's a mosaic, and you can be like, oh, oh I want to open it up. Ah! Wow. And, and then we'll put the in there. And they also have this beautiful tile printed. And don't ask about the bottom of the book. Uh-oh. <laughs> the bottom of the book is uh, not really a book. Thank you. I guess it's kind of beyond its like side like this, so it doesn't really matter if this is looking really bad. Yeah, that's gonna be bucked up against the Beauty and the Beast book. That mom's building. They don't. They have a gap there, and they're just gonna cover it up with uh, Maleficent. Great. 
And now we're gonna slab that on the side, and now there is no more ugly side. And uh, I think I'm gonna check with something real quick. Uh oh. Uh oh. Just gonna do a little wear and tear. Just gotta move a couple things around, possibly. You know, it happens. Good suit. <laughs> Read it to me. Disney sweep, Disney sleeping booty. <laughs> sleeping booty. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> First of all, I need a minifigure. Time to put her in her alcove in this book. So now we uh, open this plate flat. Move her accessory. Turn that nice and perfect. Behind her, put put her uh, wand. She's now in her coffin. <laughs> Last pieces going on to my VHS tape. And the cool thing about this is you pop that up, and then you got the story of Little Mermaid inside there. Is, are you okay? Okay. Clark's got the set up here. Wow, that's cool. Isn't that neat? Mm hmm. Well, there's one thing that we need to do. That is, uh, put it on the book. We are missing one bag. Mom didn't fulfill her end of the bargain here. Left bag seven. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Mom's like, I have a more. She's like, I've got better things to do with the Lego. I'm like, how is that even possible? What could that include? Oh, actually, right. doing adult things. Like, uh, do, like cleaning the house. And... Alright. I gotta, uh, like... Have the book, like, all right. Let me just have things set up. Just get a look at the box and uh, boom. Very nice. That's what we have so far. Very nice. It's a, it's very loose. It's a, mm, well, I think it's just supposed tape. to sit there and be on display. But I really like that tape. It's really neat. I know. That was my favorite part. When I saw this, I was like, I just want to build that tape. And I got to do it. Clark Man built a bunch of stuff. Mom, um, her look. I'm going to say she put a little bit on top of that, maybe. Mm -hmm. And we'll come back and we'll put the last bag on and show you mm -hmm. the final display. Clark Man's back to school today. And I decided I'm just going to go ahead and finish this set off. The only thing left to build is bag seven. And all that is is the second half of this book right here. So all the exciting things, at least in my opinion, we built all of those. Like all the fun stuff is done. This is just a little bit more of a grind until you get to see this thing all finished up, which after I defeat this bag, what we get to do. So far, I'm pretty happy with this set. I think it's going to look great on display. I enjoyed the at least the one portion of the build that I got to do, which was, oh, it's actually attached on there. Clark attached this. The little mermaid VHS tape. I love that. That was fun. Uh, Clark Man built this stuff, and then he built the Sleeping Beauty book, which I think is really neat. The worst part of the build so far, oh, I built this too. I like the, the watch, the pocket watch with the hook hand on the back. Uh, the worst part of the build so far is actually what I'm finishing up here, which is why I don't feel too bad just rocking this out without the Clark Man. Doing the Aladdin book, which is the base, and then the the Beauty and the Beast book there, is kind of just a set piece for everything else to go on, in my opinion. So if you are gonna build this, you might have to negotiate your way into building the tape, because I just think that's so cool. Or this, or this, or this. There's a little bit of everything in here for everyone. So if you're building with one other person or two other people, I think everybody could get something fun to build, but then somebody's gonna have to make the sacrifice, which is what I did, and build the the base and, and the, the brown Sleeping Beauty book. There is Gaston in here though, so you do get that if, that's, if that could entice you into building it. And we'll build him up right now. For whatever reason, I just cannot resist these Disney sets. Obviously they're great on display, but then you have all the memories. Like I actually remember watching Little Mermaid on VHS, so it's not just a Lego set for me, it was my childhood, but there is, Gaston looking amazing and he's the final minifig. We'll display him there until he has a place to go and I'll build up this seemingly very small bag seven. Why isn't Gaston there? Is he in the end? This is weird. Where the heck is Gaston at? Is he at the very end of the build? I've never seen this before. I finally found him. Step 147. You can see him go into his his book tomb there which we'll put him in right now so you can see what it looks like when he's going in. So he's going in kind of like upside down 
like that. And then, that, oh, that's like a drawer. That's really cool. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this well or not. Let me bring you around get you in the light. There we go. So that just goes in here like this. And that's just one of the secrets of this set. I've got two more pieces to put on. We got a little hook thing there. And then this one I think goes down here like this. I'll put these pins in and I'll show you all the cool stuff of this part and then the rest of the set too. I'm not sure how well we we showed this as we were building it. Certainly not professional reviewers, we're just people that enjoy building Lego and speaking of building Lego, we're done building. So let me show you the book. You saw Gaston come out of here, which is kind of cool, like a little tomb. And then up here, this is cool too. If you flip this like this, you got the rows inside there. So you just go like that with the pages of the book and there's a little spot here. The way that was built was really interesting. It was one of the situations where sometimes it's right side up, sometimes upside down, but it does flip up and that's pretty neat. Now these pins on the side that I put on, that attaches this book, which maybe I should show you before we put it on there so you can see what this one does. Inside there, Maleficent hiding in Sleeping Beauty. So that's the little bonus with that. This book is hollow on the back side, but that's okay because basically what happens is this gets attached together. Boy, that is fighting me. Why are you fighting me? I'm having flashbacks when I was trying to put all the pieces in Ninjago City together. These pins, there we go. I was gonna say they don't wanna go in. I just had to say it and then it happened. So there is kind of what the spine of this looks like. This is the side that you're gonna be looking at this from. So that looks cool and all. I showed you the secret of those two things. The tape, I definitely showed you, has like the actual film strip inside there, inside the VCR tape. This one, does this, does this pop? I can't remember what the pink book does. Yeah, that pops right there to find Jafar inside. Kind of just like Gaston. And then I think that is it, the apple. Okay, the apple sits on here. And then the clock is kind of just, at least according to the front of this, they have that just kind of sitting there like that. And then the card goes like that. And that's what the set looks like all fully built up. And I really love that. I'm kind of glad that I did this last little leg of this here because it was where all the stickers were. The sticker sheet's not too crazy from this. It's a 1500 piece set, so it's, not bad for that, but there was that sticker, that one, and that one. And they weren't the easiest ones to kind of line up because you have to really guess how much space is going to be on each side. But they turned out nice, and I think this looks like a fun little display piece. Obviously, it looks best probably like from that angle. But I've already got, and this is like the win of the day, I've got Mrs. Brickitech's permission to keep this up here. As you can see, we've already started infiltrating Lego. She actually built this one. Clark and I built that. I built this. And I was thinking this set would actually look better instead of being up on top there, may look better on a shelf like right here maybe. Maybe I will just put it up there because I don't want to mess with, with her stuff. I don't want to push my luck. Something went wrong. Please try again. See, that's what I was thinking too, Siri. I'm thinking we'll just put it up there for now. <laughs> we'll start a little Disney corner over here. This would be the worst time for a drop test. Okay, that there. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's just up too high to really appreciate. Like when you're looking at it, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to make some moves just so I can put that on the shelf a little bit lower so I can look at it a little better. I just slid that back a little bit. I put that picture there. Not the most ideal setup, but it did give me enough space, I think, to pull off what I'm trying to do here. Okay, here we go. Am I going to have enough space here? Oh, we need to get rid of like one more book. <laughs> Sorry. Robert Frost, you gotta go. I don't know if it was worth the sacrifice to put that there. Like it looks, looks okay. It doesn't look any better or worse than being up top. But the only thing that I can see now, like it just really draws attention to itself because these are all, believe it or not, these are real books. And then <laughs> it's that. Maybe it should just be the upper shelf being Lego. I think. Yeah, I think that's the move. Plus, I won't get in trouble for having moved all of my English teacher wives' books and collectibles and things. Because this is like kind of her spot. My spot is the entire basement. This is a perfect example of the problem of every Lego collector. 
Time, space, money, wives. Right now we're talking about space and wives, so it's two of the four problems. I don't want to create two problems, I just want one, which is space. So let's let's go back to plan A. There we go. You can't even tell I was here. But there's the completed set. Actually does look better up there in my opinion, beside the other Lego stuff. Plus we got lots of room for more stuff too, which we're obviously going to fill. It, it's just going to happen. So that is the build of Lego Disney set 43227. This is the icons. What is this called? Is it just called villains? Lego villain icons 43227. Set was, I think, like 130 thirty dollars but we got it on sale with target and i think it's worth a buy if you like having display pieces if you're a disney fan you're a villain yourself i think you'll like this set it was fun building it with the family like i mentioned everybody can take like a little segment of it you will need some type of digital device to do it because there's only one manual that's with it but if you're okay with that and you got some peeps to build with you can have fun with this and then enjoy it forever on your shelf as a memory of the fun times you had. Hope you enjoyed coming along on this Lego journey with us and we'll see you in the next video.